one of the things that we look at is eBay. eBay, okay? It's uh, it's really embedded itself deeply into sort of um, well many societies. Um, certainly, it has in the United States and here, or here in the United Kingdom, and many other societies too. Um, eBay is a definitely an interesting thing to have a look at. It's interesting partly because again, people often like eBay. Many students use eBay. Um, if I do surveys at the start of, uh, of the year at the moment, um, it's really easy to see this kind of tail up that goes along. Lots of people buy things on eBay and a surprising number of people also sell things on eBay. Um, a surprising number of people also will fess up to ripping people off on eBay, which is interesting because I'm a relative stranger to them, especially at the start of the year. Um, but there you go, it just shows you how deeply ingrained into the culture that e eBay has become eBay is perhaps the most famous online auction experience, um, but it's not the only auction, auction experience. Um, I don't think it was the first one. It's certainly, you know, there were there were many other competitors around, um, but it definitely became, as we know, you know, a away success in most markets. Okay, a common mistake that people make when they're talking about eBay is to say that eBay is completely and utterly successful, um, can't do anything wrong at all. This is simply not true. It's had to retreat from several markets. Um, of the years. Um, places like Japan and China, um, eBay has really struggled to gain um, a good holding um, and it's one of these areas which you kind of keeps having another look at. You know, it'd love to get into China because it's a massively expanding market. Uh, Japan is a very lucrative market um, but there are areas where eBay, especially where you've got um, existing auction services, um, some of them like Yahoo auction services and stuff, um, it's struggled to gain a foothold. So it's not universally successful. Uh, but it's that very simple premise that it works on that you know uh, one person's rubbish is another person's treasure we've all got stuff lying around the house we've all got stuff we'd like to to get hold of that might be difficult to get hold of in some ways i'm a good example of a kind of typical ebayer in as far as um if i want paperback books that were published 20 30 years ago uh, you know kind of old sci-fi books or something ebay is a fantastic place for me to try and get hold of this kind of stuff if i want to try and replace some of my old albums or something ebay is a great place for it eBay is well known for being an auction site for second-hand goods, but increasingly eBay has also become a site that's a platform for the um, sale and dissemination of new goods. And a common problem that I get on the essays about eBay, despite emphasising this in lecture, is that there's a, a big emphasis on the second-hand goods, etc., etc., you know, and individuals doing this. It's an important sector of what they do. Um, but increasingly through eBay Express and other things and the eBay stores, uh, an awful lot of big companies uh, are using eBay um, to sell new things. You know, um, some of these are very small enterprises. Some of them will be very big enterprises, and often they'll employ intermediaries. You know, if you've got ten thousand slightly out of date laptops, you don't dump them on eBay because the price for the items would go through the floor, of course. So you have sophisticated software that lets you trickle out the items on eBay um, in order to kind of maximise that the price you're getting for what you're doing. Um, and as part of the module, you know, we, I, I refer people to a particularly good example uh, where you can hear all about this. I refer to the In Business program on, on BBC, which you can still get on their archives. It's a fantastic program, tells you all about how this type of thing's done. Um, eBay is deeply in, in embedded in the culture as well, and eBay is interesting because um, only a couple of weeks ago, Britney Spears, for example, shaved her hair off, and no great surprise within hours, uh, lots of Britney Spears, locks of hairs were appearing on eBay. Many of them simply couldn't be genuine. Um, eBay also comes up every time there's a major inter uh, kind of you know fundraising concert and things these days, uh, because there's people scalping tickets on eBay and things like that. Um, and also people will you know people will buy things on eBay that they probably wouldn't buy elsewhere. You know, do you want to buy a jar of Lakeland Air? Do you want to buy an air guitar? An air guitar is one of the best examples. You know, uh, the person made it clear they are selling an air guitar. What? Okay. They get money for it. Um, so eBay has got an element of fun to it, as well as being immensely kind of satisfying in some ways. A lot of people enjoy the auction process itself. Uh, they like bidding for items. They like seeing, you know, how how they it, it's counting down towards the deadline. Have they been successful or not? Um, in terms of it being a business model, it's fantastic, and you'll find lots of quotes that say essentially it's the perfect internet business. Insofar as it's simply an intermediary, eBay doesn't sell anything. It doesn't have to ship anything around. It simply facilitates that service that enables people who've got things they want to sell 
to get in touch with people that have got things they want to buy and either as a, a, a buy it now good or some other type of new good perhaps through the shops for example or through the better known auction service where you're having an auction for second hand goods um, these people are, are, are put in touch and eBay takes a cut and it keeps taking cuts at lots of different points during the transactions and so it does very nicely thank you um, not invulnerable as I've already alluded to uh, but very strong and simply you know an interesting area and again it brings up areas like um, issues around fraud and stuff which is a very small um, as, as a proportion of the overall um, trades that are done on eBay it's a small proportion but as eBay has got more and more important you'll simply find you know there's there's a lot of fraud can take place in eBay in simply in terms of the number of cases even though it's a very small proportion of the overall um, number of trades that are done on eBay um, and again it's just interesting to look at it but people keep telling me as well how eBay is fantastic because you can buy absolutely anything on eBay no you can't buy absolutely anything on eBay okay there are lots of restrictions you know things like Nazi memorabilia you cannot buy on, on, on eBay or certainly on some of the eBay sites um, certain types of pornography drugs weaponry you can't buy on eBay so you have to be careful not to get carried away with kind of tabloid hyperbole when you're talking about it it's a fascinating area to look at and it's one of the few kind of non-porn internet businesses that has absolutely raked loads and loads of money no doubt about it um, so eBay is an area that we look at because people like it people can kind of relate to what's going on on it um, and it's simply intrinsically interesting so that's one of the reasons that on this module we look at eBay